into an agreement, you are in an agreement between physical bodies. And then the point of the agreement is to sort out your make-believe bullshit so that you can live together. Without having make-believe stuff about somebody else because you are making it up because there is delusional shit that you would want in terms of control over another. I'm a little bit passionate about this fucking bullshit because it is bullshit that's going on in this world. Now understand the fascinating thing that this make-believe world is the world of the soul. So when you die in this make-believe world, you do not continue because it's not real. Simple mathematics. We watch it happen as the people fucking die. They end right there because they live in a make-believe world. That's simple shit. You believe there's a God? You're fucked in your make-believe world because there's no God. You are making yourself believe it. Have a look of yourself on a dual seat. Somebody told you this shit is not real. So please, the simple equation of equality is one physical body stick person, another physical body stick person, another one. They all require basic needs that's equal for everyone in this reality. That is equality. Therefore, each one's voice within that is equality. We will use that in an equal life set up to solve the problem in this world. Everyone that has basic common sense can do this. They don't need me. They need themselves. Who decides who loves you? Who can decide? Only you! You're the only one that determines what the fuck is going on in the space inside you. When your mom says to you, I love you, she's lying. It's impossible because she has a feeling for you that she has created. That's why parents have different degrees of love for different children. Because they are fucking deceptive. They lie. They don't love their children equally. You cannot love another person. You can have a feeling about someone based on something that you have made yourself believe. And you can call that love, but that is not love. You can only ever love yourself and realize that such love must be cultivated in each one being in this world. And then there is equality. Then you can trust everyone. Then we are possible to have a new world. Then heaven is on earth. In heaven there wasn't even love. It was all make-believe bubbles called the soul. Everybody was sold out. They sold out life for their make-believe experience of feeling love. To feel love is to sell your soul. That means to have sold yourself out, to sold out life. Does that make sense? You cannot actually love another person. What you're experiencing is your need for fulfillment and your need to control their behavior so that you can feel better about yourself. It's brainwashing. You call it love. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. So please, we're now into the next stage, exposing the psychopathic behavior of the human race, showing in simple mathematics that in fact, to love is to be a psychopath. You have to be self-honest. You have to apply common sense you have to be here within the principles of physicality to see what is actually real. The only message in the world that is actualized real and can be measured and that will provide heaven on earth is the destiny message. If you talk shit about destiny, fuck off. We don't need you. Don't you understand? Your make-believe world is yours. You're alone in it. You can brainwash others.
us to believe with you. We work with real shit. We work with what is actual. If you can't work with us, we will expose you and you will fuck off. We will not allow you back in. Because once deceiving, you will always be deceiving. We are not interested. Forgiveness is the way to end this delusion. You give to yourself the freedom from the past. But if you mess up once, that means you do forgiveness and then you fall back and you deceive. Your forgiveness can no longer be trusted. You have fucked yourself eternally. So, really forgive yourself and stick by it. Because by God, if you do not stick to your forgiveness, you will not get beyond death. And then it is good riddance because we do not want to share the universe with make-believe bullshitters. You decide. No one can decide for you. Look at the stick man theory. No one decides your future but you. You decide what happens at death. You decide who you are. You decide what the fuck happens in this world. I suggest you consider equality. I suggest you forgive yourself for real. I suggest you keep the space inside you clear breath by breath and have no fucking make-believe idea about another person. And I suggest you do not allow deceivers in your world. In time we'll explain how this was designed and why. Obviously you can work it back and realize that nothing you've ever been told in this world is actually real. The question you should ask yourself is why have you been unable to do the most basic equations in mathematics in establishing what is best for all in the physical? Why have you not been able to get out of your make-believe world? Why is your make-believe world so important that you will determine your total fucking living behavior on it? It's sickening to watch a human being and watch how the inner fucking make-believe shit determines how one live outside and then you actually want to get others to believe with you and your inner bullshit that is deception and destructive there is no forgiveness for misleading others into a make-believe world there is no way out for those that dare to do such things and many are doing that in the name of money. That's why Equal Money will expose massive make-believe dysfunctions in this world and deception. Because as long as you cannot live equally in a system where everyone has equal everything, you are in severe trouble and you will not get beyond death. Your deadline is death. You will not be allowed to continue in this universe. And I mean, you want to take it out, you get the fuck across the divide if you can. I dare you.